portion of this video is sponsored by Viator. You're like a song that I sing in the morning On a perfect holiday You're like the warmth of the sun on my skin When clouds look gray You're like the joy of a trip that is coming To a place with ocean view You're like an old familiar friend When all is new Today, I have planned the perfect Parisian foodie date for me and George. I'm super excited. For breakfast, we're gonna try out a viral spot, see if it's worth the hype. Then for lunch, we're gonna check out a local recommended spot and eat some authentic French cuisine. After lunch, we're gonna take a really exciting baking class and learn how to make a French icon. And finally, for dinner, we're gonna dine at a Michelin Guide restaurant. We have culinary range today. I am super excited. And our first spot is actually right over there behind me, and I am ready to get the show on the road. Are you ready, babe? Perfect day, let's go baby. Allons-y! We're here! This place has been around since 1927. In just three years, it'll be open for 100 years. And today, we're actually trying the viral hot chocolate. It's like this thick, really rich hot chocolate. People say it's kind of like drinking melted ganache. I'm very excited to try what that texture is gonna be like, and they say we have to get it with the Chantilly cream. Bonjour! I ordered the hot chocolate with the famous Chantilly cream. I also got a cup of fresh fruit on the side so we can eat it with the hot chocolate. I'm sure those strawberries and raspberries will, and blackberries will pair beautifully with that chocolate and cream. I haven't seen any videos or pictures of this place, so I'm super excited to get that hot chocolate. It's pretty chilly today. It is, it is fall in France, so it's pretty chilly. So that hot chocolate should be very warming. You can tell we're wearing coats. So I'm hoping it's gonna be warming up the inside of my body and just making me feel like I can go out. I'm so excited for the romantic date. We've got so many fun things planned and I can't wait to try real French cuisine. I really haven't had a lot of authentic French food. So this is gonna be very exciting for me. Oh my God, that looks so good. Mmm, okay, that, oh my God. That's incredible. The cream is so creamy, of course, and the hot chocolate is so thick and rich. It really is like ganache. That hits the spot. It's not too sweet at all. As soon as you drink it, it just coats your throat, runs slowly down your stomach, and I can feel like the heat in my whole body. That's a good strawberry. Soft, juicy, a little bit tart, and it does pair perfectly with the hot chocolate. Babe, you gotta give this a try. First impression is it's rich without it being overly sweet. It doesn't leave a film of chemical sweetness on your tongue or in the roof of your mouth. That cream is silky smooth. Wow, that's amazing. Perfect start to our foodie date here in Paris. Definitely get it with the cream. I am actually not a whipped cream person at all, but that cream, you could just tell it's made in house and it's high quality. It's more dense than whipped cream typically is. Maybe that's why I like it. That's so good. It's time for lunch. Is it worth the hype? Honestly, yeah, I think it's worth the hype. personally love local recommended spots. I mean, obviously who wouldn't like to enjoy any destination like a local? But although I do admit, I like doing a mix of local related things and then tourist things. Cause like, it's fun to be a tourist, you know? I always try to get in at least one local recommended spot for a visit to any place I go to. And for this trip, it's Le Philosoph. It is actually quite frequented by tourists. However, it is also frequented by locals. We are in an area called Le Meret. Really hip, really trendy. It's got a lot of shopping areas, ranging from name brands to brands that you've never heard of before. Really fun area. I do recommend checking it out. Just placed our order. Everything looks phenomenal. 
French onion soup. I'm gonna think of it and see if my mom would approve of it because my mom is a French onion soup lover and connoisseur. It's not overly salted at all. Super strong onion flavor. And the soup is a lot thinner than I'm used to. Like I'm used to it being almost stewy and sludgy. And when the cheese cools down in your mouth, it's this like really yummy chewy cheese. Mm. Like it's so not over salted that I think I could salt it more. So, so good. Okay, first of all, this is some of the stinkiest, sort of like smelly, like cheese stinkiest French onion soup that I've ever smelled before. It smells very cheesy and like funky even. All right. Wow. Wow, that's really interesting. It is definitely some of the least salty French onion soup I've ever had. I didn't get much of the cheese. Oh man. Mm. As stinky as this is, that cheese is so mellow. And the onions, the onions actually melt in your mouth. That's amazing. I really have nothing bad to say about this. I love it. The thing I'm really excited to try is fagua. I freaking love fagua. Oh my god. It's so creamy. It tastes like you're eating a salted duck, but the flavor is like in the fat. It melts in your mouth, it coats your tongue. I'm gonna try some of this perhaps chili powder. Oh, oh, that I would add again. I'm not totally sure what it is. It's not spicy, at least not to me, but it did enhance the flavor in some way, all right? And then let's try this quote unquote relish. This feels like a lot, I don't know. Mm. To me, that tastes like a marmalade. That's really good. It's sweet. It reminds me of like a citrus or like a mandarin sort of loquat marmalade. It adds a sweet tartness that kind of cuts through the fattiness of the foie gras. That's a really great pairing. Babe, you gotta try this. I feel like I didn't add enough. I would say if you're not a big fan of like innards or liver, this may not be for you. Rich is an understatement. This is like wealthy, 2%. <laughs> like it's that rich. So good. I agree with George, perfectly salted. Let me try it with a little bit of this marmalade that George is saying it is. Oh, yum. Wow. You only need a little bit because it does overpower the foie gras, which is like a crazy statement. So, so good. Would you get that again? I will get it again. Now let's try the duck confit. A bunch of reviews said we have to get it. It's the house special. It also comes with frites or fries and the house salad, I guess. Let's give this a try. I hope it's super tender. Oh my God. Mmm. Oh my God, this makes me want to say expletives. So rich, so fatty, holy moly. Crispy, crunchy outside with the skin, that meat on the inside, super tender. I love it. Fries. Most of the fries that we've been eating here in France, I've noticed, are thick cut. Personally, I'm a super thin fry girl, like shoestring fry, but I've been enjoying them. Something I've been really dying for though, is more veggies. I love the vegetables in Europe. They just taste so extra fresh. Mm -hmm. Can't wait. Right, okay. Yeah, okay, 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 <laughs> okay. Oh my freaking god. That is so insanely juicy. It's gonna be very easy to like just clean the bone up. It's amazing. It's so succulent. It's incredibly delicate. Like the way that the meat just falls off in one piece. It's crazy. That's just getting mad at me because I'm eating the whole thing. So I gotta leave some of it. I was eating so hard and fast right now. I just bit my lips super hard. Oh my gosh. Well, anyway, we're gonna finish up lunch and then we're gonna head over to our cooking class. Check in with you soon. Oh my gosh, guys. Lunch was delicious. Oh my God, that was so good. And now we're headed over to our croissant baking class. Yeah, I've never made croissants before, so I'm pretty excited. Me either. And I think we waited our entire lives for good reason because now we get to learn how to make croissants here in Paris, France. There's no better place, right? And if you guys wanna check out the exact class that we're about to take, I'll link that in the description below. And it's a vital experience if you've been following us for a while then you know that we book a viator experience wherever we go it's oh always God. the highlight of our trips we love our tours it's so fun and there's something for everyone i highly recommend checking it out there's over 300,000 travel experiences whatever you're in the mood for or whatever your group is in the mood for they have it they have adventure food 
classes, oh, yeah. food I love tours. Those filters. They're so amazing. And super easy to use. There's also millions of real traveler reviews, so you can book with confidence and free cancellation up to 24 hours before your experience, which keeps things super flexible. We all know travels can get, you know, kind of crazy. Yeah, we've definitely used the cancellation once or twice before. Oh yeah, 100%. But super easy to use. And you can also earn rewards with your bookings. So Definitely. we've actually gotten a few experiences using our rewards. Who doesn't like nice. free? I know, seriously. <laughs> so yeah, we're about to head to class. I see it right there. It's oh, like this cute little red oh, door frame. <laughs> we're going to focus on the class. So we'll let the, the shots play and then we'll check back in after and we'll dig into our croissants. Just got out of the croissant making class. We walked over to the park and now we're gonna enjoy them. Yeah, that was so fun. No. We made two types of croissants as you saw probably. We made the regular croissant and the pound de chocolat. Yeah, I'm super excited. Oh my God. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my God. Mm. So buttery, so flaky. It's so fluffy on the inside. Can I break this apart for you guys to yeah. see? Wow. Oh my goodness, phenomenal. It's insane, look how beautiful this is. Oh my God. That's perfect inside. So perfect. And, and it was so easy hot. to make too. Well, I so mean. <laughs> many things were set up for us. <laughs> That's true, yeah. So far this Parisian food date, I love it. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We got pain au chocolat also. Mine, uh, my chocolate sticks were hanging outside of my dough a little bit, so they fell over. But you know what? I don't discriminate. George's Mine's are perfect. very pretty. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the chocolates are a little bit too close together, but otherwise. They're perfect. Very perfect. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my God. Mm. Oh my God. Mm. Oh man. Oh yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, wow. Also, I know it's milk chocolate, but it's, on the darker side. It's not too sweet. Very chocolatey, very rich. Look at the layers in that croissant. These croissants are so good and that class was so fun. I feel like that's definitely gonna be a highlight, core memory of this trip for oh, sure. A thousand percent. Yeah. yeah, and if you wanna check out the exact class that we took, I'll link that in the description below. And if you take it, let me know what you think. All right, we're gonna have a few hours before dinner, but I'm excited. Michelin Guide Restaurant, Cheval d'Or. <laughs> we are here at dinner finally. Cheval d'Or on the Michelin Guide. It is French Asian fusion. I know it says Chinese on the restaurant door, but from the gallery of photos and videos that I've seen, it's actually a bunch of different kinds of Asian food. So I'm excited. Let's go check it out.
Here we have an egg canapé. It's got egg, tofu, soy, and chives. Ooh, holy crap. It's like a steamed egg inside, and then the flavor is like a sweet soy sauce. I'm relishing in it at the moment. I'm gonna scoop out every single piece I possibly can. I'm even gonna drink it. Mm. I love tofu. Tofu has never let me down ever in my life. You can really taste the chives. They mentioned that it has grapes, dates and grapes in there, so I see the date. I'm gonna try one. Oh, that's really good. A lot of Chinese broths have jujube, or even Korean broths, they have jujube. This reminds me a lot of that. A very similar texture. It's got that sweetness as well. Oh my gosh, that's so good. George is totally spot on about the dates and the grapes resembling jujube. Green onion is just phenomenal in anything. I feel like it really helps bring out all the ingredients and the mushroom is coming through beautifully. This is like a, a harmony of flavors. That's so good. Now we're gonna try these baked noodles with creme fraiche and caviar. I know George is gonna be really excited for this. Oh my god, first thing that comes to mind is latkes. That creme fraiche is really tart. That caviar has a strong punch of saltiness and the baked noodles taste very much like potato. Earlier, just like a few hours ago, I was talking about, I feel like I'm missing the quintessential French experience, which is caviar. And I don't even know if that's the quintessential French experience or not. Mm. This is gonna sound so funny, but this reminds me of ruffles with sour cream. The baked noodles is very crispy, and it doesn't have a lot of flavor by itself. And then the sour cream obviously tastes like sour cream. The caviar, I'm not getting a lot of flavor from the caviar, which is interesting. Let me just try a little bit of the caviar. Oh yeah, it's so smooth. It tastes like anchovy oil. You put it in your mouth, you press your tongue up against the roof of your mouth, it just pops very, so slightly. It doesn't like pop like salmon roe does, it kind of just smushes and releases this beautiful oil. It's not even that strong of a flavor, it's very smooth. It tastes like Peking duck, but the currant was such a great addition. It was a little bit sweet. There was a burst of juice, and then the cabbage and everything, it kind of reminded me of like Panchan. I think that they did take the Peking duck, and I wouldn't say they made it better, but they made it very different in a very enjoyable way. I did really like it. Guys, I have food coma, and I'm so full. Did I though? Currently, I'm having a hard time trying to not compare it to the classic cook style. The pancake seems to be a hybrid, actually, of a fluffy bao bun and the Chinese duck tortilla. Honestly, I do prefer the classic green onions. However, similarly to what George said, it is such a unique take. These both can exist and be delicious. Oh my god, wow. Mm. I was just talking about how full I am, but as the saying goes, there's always a second stomach for dessert. My goodness, that top shading is actually lychee. And then there's a pear ice cream on the bottom. Oh my god, it's so good. But this is a pavlova, by the way. And then a tart. What a marriage of not only ingredients, but flavors. The lychee and the pear, both super sweet. The tartness from the yogurt cuts through all of that. And then that the actual tart crust on the bottom. Oh my gosh, buttery, soft yet crumbly. Mm. Oh my god, I love that. This dessert gets everything right. Those pears, so soft, so sweet. That's an amazingly good sweet pear. The shaved ice on top is a lychee shaved ice. It's got everything I love. Fruits, yogurt, tart. I'm in heaven. 
right guys we just got out of dinner oh my gosh what a fantastic experience yeah that, i was just gonna say that was quite an experience yeah very unique all day we got to try so many different culinary experiences it's ranging, a big range oh i know yeah, yeah ranging from like the small shops to like this michelin guide one amazing impeccable yeah. from viral food like oh, yeah. carrette for the hot chocolate then authentic french food at les mm. philosophes oh yeah then our croissant the class. croissant making class <laughs> And then a restaurant that is on the Michelin Guide. What was your favorite or a couple of favorites? Ooh, that's hard. I mean, I love them all, but I'm still thinking about that croissant class. Ooh, that was really fun. That was, I was going to say, I'm thinking about that hot chocolate with the Chantilly cream and the desserts that we just had. Mm -hmm. I mean, those were oh George desserts to a T. Like mm -hmm. you could not get any closer to my dream dessert. That lychee <laughs> with the pear. Oh my God, that yeah. was so good. Do you think I planned us a good Parisian foodie date? I thought that was a great date. Thank you, babe. Of course. Yay. Yeah. I'm so happy. What a dream come true. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Au revoir! Au revoir!